Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to compare Omnisend and MailChimp. The first thing I will focus on are the pricing plans, then I will look on main features and advantages and disadvantages I see with the main features. Then I'm going to look also on reviews like what other people think about it. So you will have like full video. I'm not paid by Omnisend or MailChimp to say one is better comparing to the other. I'm just going to give you the truth, the honest review. So let's start. Now pricing plans. First. Omnisend is focused on e-commerce. If you're a blogger, don't look on Omnisend because it's directly on Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix, etc. Uh, big commerce and like e-commerce softwares like these. MailChimp, on the other hand, is focused on everything. So it's like if you're gonna have a blog or e-commerce, MailChimp is a good choice too. Now, Omnisend is all about how many contacts do you have. Let's say that I'm going to have 1,000 contacts. And the price is going to change. The free account is 2000 emails a day. So that's really great. And that's like just cool. Now MailChimp offers you 2000 contacts. And for completely for free. But the account is limited. But it's also with the Omnisend. So the free account is similar. Now when you would go. Let's say that we're going to have 5000 subscribers. You can see it right here. The standard version would cost you 60 bucks a month. And the pro version, best value, $120 a month. And you get like Facebook custom audiences and Google customers, etc. So you can see it right here. But right now, I think that the standard version is all right and enough. Now, on the other hand, when you would go to MailChimp, you can see it right here $80 for standard version. For essential, it's 53 so it's similar, but the pro version in Omnisend is much uh, pricey. And they are both expensive, like comparing to SendinBlue, comparing to MailJet, MailRide, Omnisend and MailChimp are expensive. Now to go further and look on how it actually looks like. So when I would go here, Omnisend is much easier to use, period. When you would create a new campaign, you can simply choose if you want to A-B test, SMS campaign, email campaign. So this is like pretty. Then you just like add a subject line here, sender's name. Next step. And then you just like select the template and you can see the theme templates here, but there are not so many here. MailChimp offers you much better way of what templates you can use and they are much prettier comparing to Omnisend. When I would go here further to, let's go by myself. The drag and drop system is similar, but there is advantage of Omnisend. If you want to use Omnisend, you can actually add products to your, you don't have to add pictures. You can just add products from the store that you connect. So Omnisend is winning here, in my opinion. And then you get like image group, discount that you can add here. So that's really great. Text, also HTML code. And when you look here on a MailChimp editor, again, it's similar. It's not that like different in my opinion. To go further on how, for example, looks like the... That you can use for automations here. New workflow. Oh, I would need to, I need to create. Okay, so the workflow. Workflow on MailChimp is similar to Omnisend. Omnisend is directly for abundant card. So if you want to go with e-commerce, e I would go definitely with Omnisend. For some reason, it's not available right now for me here. Mm, yeah, because I don't have connected store right now. So if you want to have connected store, you can just easily create a workflow here. And it's not that hard and different. We can see it right here. So to go in further, MailChimp and Omnisend workflows are similar and not that different. In both of these tools, you can create pop-ups, uh, landing pages, A-B testing, SMS campaigns. So they are really similar. Now to go further, and the last thing I want to talk to you about is that if you want to use MailChimp, you need to really be careful about the customer support, but because plenty of people are saying that the customer support and the uh, Usage of the whole program is not what it used to be in the past. So a few years back, MailChimp was an amazing program. But right now, 
well, I don't recommend really using that. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions guys, ask me down in the comments. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.